headline is 70% protection. And we do have a subgroup that we got a half dose of the first dose and then a full dose of the second dose uh, where we saw 90% protection. At a cost of three pounds each, the drug is a fraction of the price of the other two vaccines recently announced. The health secretary, Matt Hancock, said the rollout could be just weeks away. We hope to be able to start vaccinating next month. The bulk of the vaccine rollout program will be in uh, January, February. March. Hello, uh, and we hope Margaret. That, uh, Hello, uh, Alison. Hello, Louise. We'll be able to start to get back to normal. This is really, uh, really positive news. Ooh, turn the radio off. Swell, buttercup. Hello, Stephen. I hope you're well. How exciting. Non-essential shops opening next week. Ah! Full measures in force. God, blimey. I wonder if my tea's brewed. I just boiled the kettle. I got back. The usual. The post office. I went along and I, uh, I think I started at about quarter past 11 thinking I better get everything done, get the, oh dear, get the post all done in good time. And um, I wasn't very good at driving and I sort of, I don't know, I made a bit of a balls of parking and I went forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Then I got out and then there was a woman, somebody said, how are you? And hello, Ken, hello, Elizabeth. And hello, Mel. Oh, how's the arm, Mel? How are you? Do you need me to come over and apply a dressing? Because I know how to do that. Anyway, um, yeah, anyway, it just took ages at the post office. Somebody said, uh, what do you do? I thought you live in West Woodburn. You don't know who I am. But I didn't say that. I just said, um, I've got a gallery along the road. Hello, Chris. Uh, hello, Catherine. When you wave, I wave back. Am I going back mad? <laughs> anyway, I only just got back and I didn't have plenty of time, hence the hair. Uh, I would have spent a little bit more time. You're seeing the nurse tomorrow. Well, if you need any dressings, uh, I, I saved a carrier bag full from when I did my ankle a few years ago. So um, I'm sure we could always get some to you if you need. Hello, Philippa. Hello, Rose. So I'm going to pour my tea, excuse me one second, into my colossal mug, which I'll show you when I come back over. Um, it was a sample for the beefy mugs. So it's gigantic, that carries a, uh, a pint, a pint of tea. Yes, yeah, so I think I promised a dog update, a cellulitis on leg update. My leg is way better, but it all feels like the skin down there is dead. Not the skin, it feels like the flesh on the front of my leg is no more. Um, and it's actually, there's a little sort of hollow there. Anyway, you'd be pleased to hear that although I was very, very, very tempted. Oh, you've got a cupboard full as well. Well, that's really handy, Mel. So if I get any injuries and I run out, I know where to come. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Uh, yeah, so um, yesterday, my friend who I swim with, I'd, I'd, we had agreed to swim on Sunday and I said, I don't think I should because of the leg situation. And she said, oh, it's not much fun on your own. I said, look, look on this as an opportunity because um, I'll be able to take some fantastic videos and photographs and she's nearly as vain as me. She's actually vainer. Um, I, but I just said that. So I took some fantastic videos and photographs and there's nothing nicer than having like really lovely photographs of yourself looking fantastic doing something you love doing so that you can show off, uh, which is what she's done. She's added to her story um, a photograph of her sploshing up through the water like that with the water all sploshing everywhere. And of course, I just said, what a fantastic photograph. Who took that? So yeah, I didn't swim. I was beach patrol. And we just swam here, literally, just over there. And I, well, we didn't swim, I watched. And I said, right, you've been in eight minutes. And then I said, you've been in nine minutes. And I said, you've been in 10 minutes. So I think she stayed in for 12 minutes, which is plenty, because it's probably about five degrees. It, basically, it's very, very cold. 
Hi Celia, how's the pastels going? Um, and the dogs, Marv hasn't run away again. For those of you who weren't here yesterday, we had a disaster. Well, a near disaster. Marv vanished and Marv's got diabetes and he's quite blind. He must have like cataracts. When you look into his eyes, there's just sort of milky holes in the middle and he doesn't actually look at you. He just sort of looks in a vague direction. But I'm afraid um, the prospect of spending like, many thousands of pounds on cataract operations uh, is not appealing. So we've decided to buy him a white stick instead uh, and put a bell on his collar. Um, so he vanished, he just vanished. And um, so we're searching around, rattling the food tin. And I found him literally three metres from the front door of the house, sitting in the garden, just sitting on his bottom, gaping, looking at the horizon. Um, he must have just maybe fallen over the little bank and become disoriented and didn't know what to do. And Dorothy is quite a lot. Oh! Paul, it's not a fine stick. What do you mean it's a fine stick? It's a paint roller. Well, what are you talking about, you stupid boy? He's my sort of semi adopted son, so I can call him that. Um, I don't. Is it, this isn't anything to do. Is, this isn't anything to do with you, is it, Paul? Anyway, it makes, it makes a very good. Uh, Roller extension because I've been doing a lot of that. I painted in here, I painted the hallway. When I say painted, filled the holes, sanded it down and touched up, and the front room. And now that we are allowed to open next week, um, I've got to do the print room as well, which is quite scary. So we've got, we're literally all systems go. So I hope you will all be coming up here at some stage if you feel you can. And as I said before, we'll have a lovely um, outdoor covered area for sitting and waiting your turn because obviously we'll be packed. I'm only joking. But it will be a nice place to sit and you can enjoy the view on, on a day like today, um, sitting in your coat in scarf and gloves, looking over the valley. Uh, with the sun drenching it, casting long shadows, uh, be lovely. It was a glass, not a glass, a bamboo cup of mulled wine or coffee. Um, these are some of the bamboo cups. MAR is so ungrateful. I made that. Did you really fall? This great stick. And it makes a fantastic paint roller extension. I'm sorry, Paul. Sorry, sorry. I can't. Look. That's a bamboo cup. I better just answer that. Lost the phone. Sorry. They've given up. Oh, but I do think that the phone must be quite handy. Here it is. I'll just write write the number down and move those cups. It's my husband. Sorry, folks. It'll be like Wendy Craig again. <laughs> Go away, Wendy. Stop pestering me. Hello, you rang? I'm in the middle of a live video. <laughs> yes. Twenty by twenty-five, I think. Yeah. Or you could get you could get maybe four of each. Okay. Thank you. Bye. You see, we're getting all geared up. That's Fifey asking me whether I want um, fifteen by twenty brackets or twenty by twenty-five. 
so that we can make a little shelf. And it's all about making this a safe, COVID, covacious environment for everyone. Well, not everyone, anyone who wants to. Um, Aho, Heather, you had to deal with boiler servicing. Is that a euphemism for something? No. Uh, right. Painting. Sorry, I'll just pick this box up. Oh. So, Paul, just go back to um, me, me, me. Did you know I've been ill? I've had cellulitis. I could have got sepsis and died. Luckily, I didn't. I'm still here. Uh, oh. I'm really sorry. I put my specs over there. Let me just pop and get my glasses. Specs. Right. So yesterday, if you recall, I began a single hound painting and some of you suggested that I did these so that you could fill them in. Um, I gave it uh, some thought and the answer is absolutely not. So uh, I think I'll just do that myself now. Oh, here's a van. It's a very busy time of year, you see. Oh, the Vaseline. Margaret, I don't know what you mean, and I don't even want to start thinking what you mean. Anyway, we'll, we'll just tip up and do a little bit of painting, shall we? What is she talking about? Um, so, if you imagine, here's the head with the ears flapping in the breeze, and here's the head. The nose will be about here. It's got an open mouth, front legs, back legs. Right, so I want to just add a bit of depth to this. So I need, um, that brush is probably fine. Oh, a bit hot with this on as well. I began without a vest and then I put one on and then I put a cardi on and then I was too hot today. Right, so I'm just going to mix Quite a, quite a, um, what's the word, nondescript colour, a sort of greyish colour to reflect whatever shadows there are around this, around the hound. And obviously at this point I haven't decided whether it'll have a background or not. I wonder if that's dark enough. I hope that is a courier and not uh, just a burglar. Right, so. Well, that's that van back away down the track. I can hear it. So that's like the, the dark underbelly. Maybe just get some a slightly lighter version of the same thing.
so that's that that curves around and meets there it's a good idea to keep linking parts if you're doing something uh you know like with an animal or a person or a portrait or something keep looking at uh things in relation to other to other parts so for instance you know back legs like this they do need to both come from if you imagine this is the spine here um the you know the hips of both legs need to come out of um the same sort of area and so you need to sort of bear that in mind really when you're doing it which i'm sure you do And this is the other back leg, and that's the big, um, the big um, thigh muscle there, going down. And there is like the hock, not the hock, but the heel here. Which is the same as that area on that one. Okay. And this is just just for myself just so i can get an idea that's where the sides of the jaw are there and there Right, and then the pads, I always think, sort of brown really, pound pads, foot pads, brownish. Hmm, a bit like that. See that one. So, sort of beginning to beginning to fill out. I might just now um, think where the, where the where the nose will be, and that'll help. Doesn't need to be really really dark, just in case I make a bit of a balls of it. I'd say about there. Oops, sorry, I should have got you a little bit further. Yeah, what's the Vaseline for? Whoops. What's the Vaseline for? Chillblains or chaps? Hello, Emma Kasky. So I'll just turn it around. Um, head, flappy ears, nose, chest, belly, one thigh, another thigh. That makes that nice. It's always very tempting to go straight in with the um, like the ginger and black colouring on the coat, but I'd rather hold off until I've really got these dan these dark like the f the form of this hound defined by the shadows. I'm going to get a really small paintbrush. And again, for my for myself, I'd quite like to just actually no, I'm not. Like to just um, rough out 
where the open mouth is. So I get another brush, a little bit smaller, and just a tiny bit of a sort of red-ish colour. Um, because mostly what's in this mouth is a reddish colour. The tongue. Do the same on this side as well. <laughs> Isn't it funny how doing something really quite simple straight away gives the impression of an open mouth with a tongue inside it. It's rather, rather good fun. I think I have this possibly a little bit, even a bit further forward. And it's not too late at this point to alter these shapes and things. Um, right. Oh, the tail. Forgot that. Or it's actually not a tail, it's a stern. Now, if we imagine that is the thigh, that is the, I should perhaps have it like that. Not sure, but anyway, that's what I've done. Right. Now then, I'll just find the colour I used. Because I think... That's where that back pad will be. And then, uh, to be honest, I think I would leave that to dry at this stage. I'm going to see what you're saying as well. Have we decided what um, what Margaret's Vaseline suggestion was for? Arf, arf. Hello, Lisa Crocker. I nearly, I nearly got in touch. I don't like to say this, but about... About 20 orders came in yesterday, oh, that's showing up a bit, and then a few more today. And I looked at them and I went, well, it would just be too rude to ask Lisa to come in when I haven't asked her yesterday. And poor thing, has not had any family time. And anyway, I just, there'll just be more for you, for you to do on Wednesday, more for Jane to do tomorrow. I saw someone in the village when I was unloading four sacks out of my car and she went, Oh, it's good to see you're doing business. I just didn't, I kept my thoughts in my head and I maintained a smile and I was polite. Hi, Anstis. Hello, Deb Chapel. Right, so I think I'll put that to one side for now. Um, <laughs> Do you remember that these runner ducks have got a lot in common with Marv, i.e. can't see. Mug is a blank canvas. <laughs> I know. Ah, tea, best drink of the day. Who remembers that? I only use drink Yorkshire tea now and when we go caravanning, um, which isn't going to happen very soon because we've had to take the axle off the caravan because, as usual, I bought a pig in a poke. And yes, you get what you pay for. Right, I'm going to tip this up. Tip you up, I mean, yes. Tip everyone up. And um, looking at it now, these bills need to be a lot stronger. And we do need to put the eyes on and I need to do something to the legs. So I need to find a nice brush. Hmm. 
which is proving a bit of a challenge. Hmm. It's like my mid-sized brush, I don't know what it is, my three-eighths or something, seems to have gone walkabout. There's an old one. A very old one, all the paints come off it. I use that. Let's see if I can find some colour here to use. Ah, oh, that looks nice. Don't want it to be too orangey. That seems to be the way it's going. Just a bit more to find. We'll do the same sort of thing. Uh, I get a slightly smaller brush with the ankle, but they do want to be more orangey. Not the ankle, sorry, the um, the feet. Yeah, they, they really could do with being quite orange. Now, my friend uh, Alan Reed, it's his birthday today. He's an artist from Pontyland and he's uh, he's very talented. And did I say it's his birthday today? He did a couple of things where he did a time lapse video of him painting, and I am going to maybe copy him because I really loved watching his. So I sort of figure that if I like watching his, then other people might just find it quite fascinating. So I might do that. And you can do it with these live videos. If you go back, you, know, you go back and you find a video on, oh, sorry, okay. um, oh brilliant. Um, and you just go with the thing and it goes into like fast, fast motion, like the opposite of slow motion. And, uh, and that's quite interesting, seeing a picture just build up very, very quickly. So I'm really just accentuating those, the darker areas like where these lovely webbed feet touch the ground and where the shadows lie. It's funny, this paper, once it's been painted a few times, it just changes nature a little bit. Over here, it's become a bit like blotting paper um, and a bit less like it was when it started. Sorry about the squeaking. Just having a little think. I should have got my brushes ready before. Oh, hang on, there's a brush. 
very nice. I just thought it might be quite nice just to add a bit of depth where the bill comes out of the, the duck's mouth. I saw loads of ducks when, um, I don't want to say we were swimming because we weren't. I was beach patrol yesterday in the afternoon and the sun was just setting and that's when, that's when the mallard come in at night in groups and sort of battalions flying in, in in groups of you know anything up to 20 or 30. Hello Marianne Rogers. We've got a very, very sensitive payment platform on the website, which um, is to protect customers. And um, the most common reason why a payment doesn't go through tends to be a very, very slight disparity between the address supplied and the address that the bank has. I mean, even just, you know, something as small as a house name or... Um, but, but don't worry about that. I can take an order over the phone if you like. Ah, yes. Well, what about, would you like me to just take your order? Okay. Um, what's the name and address, please? Yeah. 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 And what would you like to order? Right. Anything? Oh, sorry. I think you imagined it. Yes, sorry. Yes. All oh, right. Oh. Yeah, give me. Yeah, give me a ring when you when you're coming up, so that I can make sure I'm here. <laughs> no, it'd be nice to meet you, especially when you've been here and I haven't been here twice. Right. So one of each, um, and are you paying by card? Would you like to give me the long number, please? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. An expiry date. And the three-digit security code. And can I take your phone number, please, just in case? Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Well, thank you very much, Keith. We'll get them off to you. Um, they'll just pop in an envelope and get them down. And sorry about the website. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Keith. Bye bye. Sorry about that. Anyway, it gives you a chance to chat amongst yourselves. And also, it proves that I really do do things like, like work, like what none of you are doing at the moment. Right. Mustn't forget to do that.
Oh yeah, Louise, it is nice paper, isn't it? Um, hello, Joanne. Right, tip up. So, uh, the ducks, the ducks. They just need eyes, don't they? So easy to make a complete balls up at this point as well. Right. Small brush. I think because of the size of this duck, we don't we don't want to be uh, going overboard with detail of eye like something like that. I'd have thought just. Very simple. And I think I'm going to just add a bit of fun in here. I've got an idea. Well, you know, I always like to put a bit of pink in if I can. We've got quite a few little spaces that are crying out. Have you still got a hair mug and teapot somewhere? Yes, 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 yes. So this is literally nothing. It's just, like I said before, sheer indulgence. Oops. So five years away to um, he's doing a bit of gardening, tidying up for somebody, and then he's going to my framer. And then, did he go to home base or something? And that's why he was ringing up, because I was trying to explain, uh, instead of having people go upstairs into what used to be Annie's bedroom, where for quite a few years we've had all sorts of gifts and things, we're not doing that this year, we're trying to avoid as many, as much as possible, places where people could, like, continually have their hands on the banister and stuff like that so everything's going to be downstairs which means we're going to have more stuff in the front porch or if you're a bit posher you might call it the conservatory uh, and so we we're looking at it and trying to work out what would go where Fifey and I and felt that it was his idea actually to make a shelf because I thought we'd have all the soft things in the front porch, things made out of fabric like bags and scarves. Um, so that's the plan. So he's got to go and buy some brackets for me. And he was just asking about the measurements. Uh, 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 uh. I know what you're wanting me to do. You're wanting me to take off the masking fluid and for it to come back to life, but I'm not going to do it until I'm ready. It's quite sweet, though. At least they can see. I might just get a tiny bit of darker Payne's grey. Um, just a tiniest bit darker on some of these. There.
I think that helps. Why is it asking me to send a join request to join a broadcast? No idea. You are so leave with the little, you are so leave with the little touches of colours that folk like me wouldn't think of. Maybe you mean brave, possibly. No. Right, well. Annie Ball, daughter of mine, hello. Now then, Annie Ball, who's watching now, and her uh, international chalice friend, both of them superb, are planning 12 days of Christmas. Recitals, I think they're recitals. And they, they are not very good at just sitting still. They are performers and wish to perform. Now, you might remember a while ago, we had a performance outside here. It was a COVID safe uh performance and it was absolutely lovely and they're going to do something at christmas so watch this space um they'll be uh that they were looking at maybe december the 13th which would be quite a nice date i think that's a sunday afternoonish, early evening um and they'll be like socially distanced areas you'd need to really wrap up warm but what you could do is come and do a little bit of shopping and then listen to this beautiful music and i would think it'll be christmas themed but I'll be posting it on my Facebook page. So anyway, I think that is plenty. What is the time? Ah! 12.43. Right. It's been lovely spending time with you again. A rare moment of peace almost in these extremely busy times. And uh, we'll be very hectic getting ready for opening next week. There's quite a lot still to do. But if I can find a bit in the middle of the day, I shall do a live video. Um, I hope you're all well. and. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.